Got to have the ultimate gear to go with the ultimate disaster motorcycle. Now what do I have? You ready? I got to bend over. Oh, the last bend over. Why? Welcome to Off Grid and Whiskey, you awesome squatchers. I know you come here for the you come here for the strudel, just like Damon and Fast Times at Ridgemont High. I've got more strudel for you. I've got the Tusk Excursion Rackless Bag System to go on the rear. Yes, I need this on my rear. Now, what does rackless mean? <laughs> well, let me tell you. Tenth grade. What was her name? Rackless means I don't have to put, you know, side racks going down to put bags, saddlebags, or panniers over. That's what's great about this system. You don't need extra metal racks. It's all one. So I've already got the Wolfman Pack. Not Wolfman Jack. <laughs> At the Midnight Special. Who was on the Midnight Special last? It was uh, Mac Davis, Ted Nugent, Leonard Skinner. Okay, there is the box. I did a five-hour unboxing. Epic. It competes up there with the miniseries Roots and Shogun. Oh, <laughs> and it's the last bend over. I'm not tossing your salad. You hit 50 years old. It's over, Johnny. A duffel bag on the top. First, you got to put this disco fancy girdle-like system on. Uh, <laughs> here. So you have easy access to parts unknown. Kind of nice you could get your hand on this roto packs and remove everything. That just long duck donged on me. This hole is for like Husqvarna gas tanks. Some motorcycles have gas tanks in the in the rear. Yes, I've got a gas tank in the rear. So it's Papa Bear. So do you, and me, and Billy Jean King. Okay, what do I do? So step one, I may have to put this heat shield, but I don't know if I do. Pretty cool aluminum tusk heat shield there in backwards vision. And you just put a, you know, a giant hose clamp around it. Not a fan, but at least it looks pretty good. And you won't even see it technically after the bags go. Over. They say the tusk label goes forward, but hey, <laughs> I said, but hey, so it goes on like that. You. You Michael Bolton it with some T nuts here and see that the heat you feel the heat burning inside right there. So I'll probably I will oh god the I will put the tusk to keep that heat from melting the bags. That's basically it right there. Probably cheated in a little bit. And now the bag can go over without melting. It's got like a double. Ooh, ooh, here the Velcro. Yeah, just like my tearaway porn pants from 1987. <laughs> yeah, technically on their website, when you buy one of these systems, they don't list uh, the T-Dub. I bought this for a Yamaha Super Teneri. So when you order the excursion, you have the option of putting water bottle holders on the side. And I've already... Use molly sticks. I have no idea what molly hatchet sticks were about. But you weave, you Hugo weave them. See the molly loops? Use these sticks to go through this extra bag that was more money and into the tusk bigger 15 liter bag. This is 15, whatever liters. I don't, this isn't Canada. Oh, come on. You can basically get. No, oh, for sure. Everything relates to a half gallon of whiskey. You can easily get two half gallons in this each side. And then the water bottle, a fifth on each side for sure. That's a liter. That's that's Canadian too, isn't it? <laughs> Back to it again by those pesky Canadians. Oh, look everybody. It's Papa Bear to help assist me in figuring out this Molly Hatchet. <laughs> stick system. He's over there licking his empty walnut wallet now. Got to get him some chromers one day so he can lick something. Oh, come on. Speaking of Molly Hatchet, I'm flirting with disaster here. Oh, he just comes back when I finally snake the last Molly stick in. They're both snapped into place. I would not want to do this again. But guess what? 
There's a whole another one back there. I got it too. Baba Bear, come back here. Here's the uh, Burt Reynolds girdle system here. You know, all the greats, William Shatner, Star Trek, they all wore girdles to suck in their pus guts. Yes. Guess who needs one? All right, so the back strap fevers are on. So I already screwed up with the Captain Kirk girdle. I shouldn't have strapped it on. <laughs> I repeat, no big deal. See what I mean? It comes right off. And here's why I shouldn't have strapped it on. I need to hammer. See these grippy, what are they called? T nuts or something? I don't know. T nuts. Speaking of no nuts right there. What is walnut breath doing? So you got to hammer these in with a hammer to that hole, to the fabric so it stays in there. And then the screws come over the top, Stallone, through the top with a washer. Aye, 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 aye. Let's go back to No Nuts McGee over here. <laughs> oh, good timing. Papa Bear, you take the hammer and when I nod my head, hit it. I feel like that, that someone should take a hammer to, because the instructions are not working out. The videos that I watch, oh, it's real easy. <laughs> yeah, it's not as easy. I'm here to tell you the reality is uh, it, it just isn't. So according to my calculations, you just drill. You have to. This hole bigger. And that looks great now. I think I can slide it in right to the top, right there. See, it already goes in easier. Now I just need to beat it. We've got White Snake slide it in. Michael Jackson beat it. Everybody, way better. There. It poked through and should be fine. Now I understand why they didn't, this is the option that you have. You can move that bag in three different <laughs> sectors. <laughs> and I am going to remove his bag as soon as this video ends. Like I said, when I nod my head, oh, oh my nose. Oh, you filthy scoundrel. That, he got me good. <laughs> He's got that long nostril. Look at this thing. You got to watch out. And it's his head is a ton of bricks. Oh, thank you. Metal church. I will hit you like a ton of bricks.